Hello, and in this video I'm just going to answer a question that I got from Ethernet Kid about web design. He's got two questions, but I'm just going to kind of model them into one. Um, the first thing to know is um, this video will not be uploaded until later because it will be out late, but if, if it takes me ages to respond, that's why. Um, his question is, he says, Hey, nice job, man, on, on the tutorials. DN, I actually like how you program this, the site with flat out CSS and no extra Dreamweaver crap. I, w I was just curious to know what the CSS for, what for rounded corners. It, it looks uh, as if there was no big image used for that. Also, is is the RSS reader subscriber just standard for WordPress, or or a plugin, or is it a service for any static HTML-based sites? Thanks, Ethernet Kid. Well, um, two of the things that he's talking about are used over on my website tom-rogers.com so if we go over there now we can look at what he's um, talking about firstly the nice rounded corners um, if we look in Firebug and I recommend this if you're a web developer um, get in Firebug so you can see the HTML and CSS and JavaScript makes up pages if we just Firebug this box and we look down at the block, we can see all these um, proprietary tags, Moz border radius and WebKit border radius. Now, this these mean Firefox and Safari, and they're just uh, CSS values that um, work for anything. I'll just go on a, I'll just go on a document and type out the CSS value for you guys. So say in my case, I'll just put this to um, CSS. I wasn't really prepared to write anything in this video. Um, but say we had the standard thing kind of is Sidebar and then block. We could do this with any block level element on the page. And then we open our CSS. First thing we need to do, do is define a border. So, for argument's sake, I'm just going to go um, border. Solid. black just a, a little exercise to show you so we've now got the border that we want to round now these values are CSS free values so they're not technically supported yet but they are supported and um, by a few browsers and they're really lightweight wow. and a lot of people have supported browsers um, the first thing we need is the, the CSS att att attribute for the element begins with a dash. So it's dash moz for Mozilla, i.e. all Firefox dependent browsers. 
and then border radius and how much you want it to be rounded by. So I'll just say 5 pixels. Um, and then there's also another one called WebKit for anything that runs WebKit. Like Safari, Chrome and things like that. Uh, um, so we want WebKit. That's border. That's radius. And they'll target each of their browsers. Now the important thing to know is that this is this is a draft standard. It's not an official recommendation by the W3C. Let me just show you the one that will eventually be supported by all browsers and will um, be the recommended spec. The recommended spec will just be border radius. Um, you know, just that was not highlighted yet because it's not it's not valid. To CSS yet because the standard isn't out yet but for the time being you can use those Mars border radius and we'll keep border radius things so we've just made a box with rounded corners with just that CSS no images so that's that's the first part of your question um second part of your question and if we go over to my website again. We can see this entire block here which says subscriptions options and it gives you some options. Subscribe in a reader or subscribe via email and then it gives you a little sub subscribe button you can hit. These are actually things from FeedBurner. You can put your feed for a service called FeedBurner and you have them manage your feeds. So my feeds are actually at feedrunner.com slash Tom Rogers. And um when you when you give them your address they give you some nice little code that you can embed in a website to generate all that stuff. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video and hope it answered your question. Thanks for watching.